Can you override my overdraft fees? Put it back in account, everybody. No, put it back in the account. <laughs> <laughs> right, such embarrassing stuff. Anyway, now, now I'm negative 46. <laughs> hey, by the way, I saw that $100,000 was just deposited into my account. Can you give me 10 stacks right now? Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. Okay, so here, this is you. You get started, right? Here's your reality. People think this business is linear. I'm gonna rise to the top, just like that. <laughs> Wanna know the truth? I hope I don't scare some of you guys. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. You start off, I'm so excited. Fast, that's cool. I'm gonna be a winner. I'm gonna be a millionaire. And then boom! <laughs> Come out the gate, first rejection. My mom, my dad, my cousin. <laughs> you hit in the face. And at this point, you got a decision to make. <laughs> Do I stick with this? Do I d develop thicker skin? You gotta ask yourself, what? Options in my life do I have that's better than what I have right now in my life to help me get on a journey to make a million bucks So the decision you make you got to ask yourself. What else do I have? That's gonna put me on a path to making six figures seven figures here in the next 12 18 24 months you gotta ask yourself, What else have I got my job? Uber DoorDash Hey man last year they made me a non-essential worker these these mofos <laughs> Played me off I realized last year that my other alternative, I've got no control over that. Even if I am getting a steamy check, even if I am getting an unemployment check, guess what? Do I have any control over that either? No. So do I have control over my life or no control? So what would I rather have? Control or no control? Control. control. So if I have control, then all I gotta say is, if I stay on this path, I'm not gonna say guaranteed. You know why I'm gonna say guaranteed we're gonna make a million bucks here? Because I know what we're about to do. The question is, what are you? You about to do, that's right. I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know what happens to you when we're doing fast start school and you're off in a parking lot. I don't even know what's gonna happen to you during lunch break. You get a phone call, you this, you get distracted. I don't know, and it breaks your pattern. It breaks the ability for you to break a pattern. But all I know is this. PHP has already created multiple, multiple, multiple millionaires. Legit, in this business, I'm not about to talk about your current career, in this business, in the next six to eight months, who legit is thinking, I can make six figures at this thing. I can make six figures. Who, who, who's, who's thinking that right now? In the next six months, six figures. Yeah? Okay. Well, by the way, yeah. yeah. Guys, we got people making six figures in a month. So you got a dilemma. Just remember, at any, any point you have, you know, like rethinking the business, this is the crossroads. You either continue down that path or you choose to... Skyrocket about this. By the way, do you guys want to make temporary money or permanent money? Permanent. That's this conversation. That's the conversation you're going to have right here. Do I want temporary money or I want permanent money? Temporary money is a job. Why is it temporary? Clock in, clock out. Temporary. Uber, signal on, signal off. Temporary. Do you know why I mentioned all those, uh, all those cities and states? You know why? When the sun rises in the morning, guess what? I am making money. When the sun, sun uh, sets in the central coast, I am making, money. when the sun sets in the west, I am making, oh, don't, don't you want to be making money? money. All day? <laughs> and I, I'll wrap up with this last step before we break. It's based on the mindset of which you approach the business. Robert Kiyosaki wrote a book called Rich Dad. Dad. His, what was the second book called? Cash Flow. Okay. And it's up to you based on how you want to make your money for the long term. Last thing I'll share with you before we break. Most people make money here. E. E stands for? Very few people are smart enough to work for themselves. They're called what? Self-employed. Self very Even very few people ever get to this side of the quadrant, which is called a business owner, let alone becoming a? There's four major ways people make money in our country, yes? So the reality is, Either people work for somebody or they work for themselves. 90% of America are right here. Would you agree with that? 
Okay, would you agree with this next statement? Majority of people in America are broke. Yes. Yeah, would you agree with that statement? Yeah. What about this other statement? The other 10% of America are rich and or wealthy. Would you agree with that statement? Okay. Why? It's how they, how they make their money. Here, you're clocking in, clocking out. You get a W. Here, you sell in commission based, 100% commission. You get a 1090. In other words, unless you are actively doing something, you make money. If you're not actively doing something, you don't make money. Wealthy people understand how to create passive and or portfolio income. Broken ease? Wealth and ease. <laughs> Rich and ease. Right? Yeah. Oh my God and ease. Right? <laughs> How many guys have ever walked into your, your bank? Because you know, you have some overdraft charges. And you're pissed. Like, I'm gonna get these away. <laughs> I had $10 left in my account and they let me charge 11. <laughs> right? Now I'm, now, now I'm negative 46. Because they charged me the uh, $35 overdraft fee and 11 bucks. Right? And you want to go back. And then, and then the, the bank tellers, how am I help you? <laughs> yeah, you again. Uh, Lucy, can you take this over because they want to overdraft. I need you to override. <laughs> Teller walks away because everybody knows you already. <laughs> Negative reputation in the bank. I mean, am I the only one that does that? <laughs> that was me at the grocery store. I swear, because I, you know, every, you go to a bank inside a grocery store? Or is that just a Chicago thing? No. Oh, you got, you got it here too as well? You got, what's the grocery store around here? Walmart has Wake Forest. Walmart, Wake Forest Bank? Okay. So, so I'm there. And I, I'm doing it loud because everybody's hearing my business. Right? Everybody's hearing my business. Yes, can you over, can you override my overdraft fees? Put it back in account, everybody. Okay? <laughs> I'm chasing my money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Right, such embarrassing stuff. Anyway, now you're making some money. It's a different relationship with the bank. From here to here. <laughs> now you go into the bank. You're like this, you're on your phone. Oh, Mr. Sapolo. Oh, yeah, how you guys? Oh, you guys know my name. And he called me Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Sapolo, can you, she, uh, Mrs. Sheena, can you please have a seat? Did you want some coffee, water, tea? Oh, did you want us to go down to Starbucks and get something for you? <laughs> no, we're fine. Yes, well, we'd like to propose to you based to consolidate this. We'd like to extend for you a business line of credit. And on top of that, we have a credit card machine. We see that you have credit card processing through PayPal. Instead of PayPal, we would like to use our merchant account services. Instead of that, would you consider using our, our money market accounts instead of just having this money, this $400,000 just sitting in your checking account? Would you like to get a 0.1% or 0.01% on money market account in our, our alternative savings account too as well to make sure you protect any potential overdraft that might happen? We're not overdrafting shit, right? <laughs> right? Ever? And, uh, and Florence, Florence would like to talk to you because, you know, the other million dollars you have in the other checking account, you know, it's not earning any rate of return. And we'd like to make sure you understand your investment options. I said, do you realize what type of business we're in? <laughs> right? That's it. Wow. I want you guys to have that relationship in your bank. bank. Hey, by the way, I saw that $100,000 was just deposited into my account. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard me when I was asking for my overdraft fees. <laughs> Can you give me 10 stacks right now? <laughs> and then you do an Instagram video. It sort of take us 30 minutes. Why? <laughs> we gotta go back there getting approval. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, right? They put, they put it in the counter in front of you. Don't. Da, 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 da. That's 10 stacks?
<laughs> Sir, would you like a bag? No, put it back in the account. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was real. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you this thing. This business here, that's that. That's that. If you got the guts it's to stick with it, okay? Because this phone, I promise you this. <laughs> you guys know what we're talking about. Everybody, hold up your phone, okay? My first, okay, you guys got to apologize for me on the uh, indulge me with the uh, the accent because my first exposure to financial services was a Vietnamese mentor, and I sound this off in my Vietnamese accent. Okay, you guys got your phone? Hold it high. Okay, repeat after me. You guys ready? Okay, this phone. This phone will make me. I mean it, Nada. Right? And guess what? I kept saying that. I kept saying that. I kept saying, guess what happened? It did. Okay? So I want you to keep saying it. This phone. This phone. <laughs> okay. okay, let's do it again. This phone will make me. I mean it, Nada. There you go. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> And that's, and that's this, guys. That's this. And so with that being said, guys, I, this afternoon, here's how I want you guys to use smart use of your time, okay? On lunch, you guys are going to go break off for lunch. You have the opportunity to smartly pick who you associate with during lunch. I want you to get to know people, but it's an opportunity for you also to size people up. Hmm, long term, do I want to hang with this person? Hmm, long term, will this person make the other? You're going to get read on it, right? If the lunch conversation was about something else about advancing their life, chances are that's your first and last conversation with them. If the person's talking about their problems or drama, that's probably the first and last one. It's all about solutions. So wisely choose who you speak to and the words that come out of your mouth because what you speak about, you be about, okay? And it's also what you attract. Okay, I don't care where you're at right now, but the thing is everybody's got their own drama. Everybody's got their own problems. I want, you to, I want you to start speaking life into things that you can control and things you can influence in the life you want to build. Sounds great? Yes, sir.